I really don't know how to say this. I mean, it's not a video I ever expected I'd have to make. Some of you know how it is. Um, you're cruising along just fine, and then all of a sudden, boom. Something happens that changes everything you've been working so hard for. Well, something like that has happened to me. It's hard to put into words. I mean, I have no regrets. It's been a great ride, and I've had a lot of fun. I've been able to do some great things that I never thought I'd be able to do. I've met some fantastic people, and I've made some good friends all around the world. And I've had the chance to work with some fantastic companies that I still fully support. We have to remember, though, that all of us change and grow. Our priorities change. And we have to change right along with them. And that can happen to anybody at any age. I guess what I'm trying to say is you have to recognize when it's time to move on. You have to recognize when it's time to let go. You have to know when it's time to say goodbye. Not to me. You're not getting rid of me that easily. I'm talking about my GAT and CNC. Now, I've been running my GAT and CNC since October of 2017, and it's never let me down. It's a good design. It's a good machine. I still believe that it's a fantastic machine for those who are just starting out, as well as for those who are a little bit more experienced. It's handled everything I've ever thrown at it without complaint. And the only problems I've ever had with it are things that I've done to myself. I still believe that it's the best bang for the buck on the market today. And if I had to do it over again, I'd do it all over again without hesitation. It's just time for me to move up to something of a little bit more professional grade. It's time for me to graduate to the next level. So... Over the next couple of weeks, the Gatton CNC will be going away. And another machine is going to replace it. I mean, it's bittersweet, really, because I love my Gatton CNC. I have absolutely no regrets over building it. And as hard as it's going to be to retire it, I am excited to move on to this next stage and assemble what I hope will be my last CNC router. What kind of machine is going to replace the Gatton CNC? Well, you'll just have to wait and see for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to do a complete build series. Maybe assembly series would be a better way of describing it. But I'm going to do it here on my YouTube channel starting next week. It's not going to be a how to build it series. You know, I'm not going to attempt to replicate or replace the manufacturer's instructional videos. I mean, they're already excellent, and I have nothing to add to that. Instead, I'm going to go through the highlights of the build or assembly process. I'm going to let you know how long certain major steps took me, uh, any tips or tricks I picked up along the way, or any concerns that anyone would have about planning for or assembling such a machine. Needless to say, I'm very excited to take this next step forward in my CNC journey. And I hope you'll come along with me and enjoy the ride. As I said, this assembly series will start next week. And if everything goes as well as it should, I'll be posting a video every week until it's finished. So I hope y'all will join me for this CNC adventure. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you are already a subscriber, I hope you'll consider becoming a channel member. But whether you subscribe to my channel or not, whether you become a channel member or not, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Y'all take care.